Arthrodesis, Wikipedia article audio. Arthrodesis, also known as artificial ankylosis or syndesis, is the artificial induction of joint ossification between two bones by surgery. This is done to relieve intractable pain in a joint which cannot be managed by pain medication, splints, or other normally indicated treatments. The typical causes of such pain are fractures which disrupt the joint, severe sprains, and arthritis. It is most commonly performed on joints in the spine, hand, ankle, and foot. Historically, knee and hip arthroses were also performed as pain-relieving procedures, but with the great successes achieved in hip and knee arthroplasty, arthrodesis of these large joints has fallen out of favor as a primary procedure, and now is only used as a procedure of last resort in some failed arthroplasties. It can be done in several ways. Use in horses At the completion of surgery and healing, which takes place over a period of several weeks to over a year, the two adjoining bones are fused and no motion takes place between them. This can have the effect of strengthening the bones, as in anterior cervical fusion. Arthrodesis is used in horses as a salvage procedure to treat severe breakdown injuries, such as failure of the suspensory apparatus, subluxation, fracture, or collateral ligament rupture. It is also performed in horses suffering from osteoarthritis, primarily of the distal hock joints, to fuse these low motion joints so they no longer produce pain for the animal. A bone graft can be created between the two bones using a bone from elsewhere in the person's body or using donor bone from a bone bank. Bone autograft is generally preferred by surgeons because, as well as eliminating the risks associated with allografts, bone autograft contains native bone forming cells, so the graft itself forms new bone as well as acting as a matrix or scaffold to new bone growing from the bones being bridged. The main drawback of bone autograft is the limited supply available for harvest. Bone allograft has the advantage of being available in far larger quantities than autograft. However, the treatment process the bone goes through following harvest, which usually involves deep freezing and may also involve demineralization, irradiation, and slash or freeze drying, kills living bone or bone marrow cells. This significantly reduces the immunogenicity such that no anti-rejection drugs are needed, and combined with appropriate donor screening practices, these processing and preservation practices can significantly reduce the risk of disease transmission. In spite of all of this processing, cancellous allograft bone retains its osteoconductive properties. Furthermore, certain processing practices have been shown to also retain the acid-stable osteoinductive proteins in cortical bone grafts, so that many bone allografts can be considered both osteoconductive and osteoinductive.